Hello everyone. It has been an age since I have done a video like this. I've done lots of streams, but it's been a long time since I did a sit down video. And the funny thing is I have some recorded, I just haven't put them up. But I thought I would do one today um, about a product that I have tried because it's been a while since I've tried a new product. Anyway, that product would be da 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 this pacifier. Now I have decorated this pacifier for myself. It's very, very cool. By the way, guys, shameless plug here. I am doing customized binkies now. Um, I pretty much do the styles that the style that has been that's the most common, and I now do this one. I personally prefer this one, and I'll tell you why here in this review. So as you see the past right here, it's it's definitely different than how it comes. I have in the past had a pacifier from adultpacifier.com. Love that pacifier to death. But here's the but. That pacifier cost me $70. $70 for a pacifier. As many of you know, there's a lot of pacifiers. You can literally get them for like 10 bucks. So when it costs $70 to buy a pacifier, that's like a purchase you have to plan out really hardcore. So I opted to work on adjusting to a new pacifier. And the reason that's so hard for me is partially because of a few different things. I have a very, 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 very strong oral fixation. Pretty much anything I'm touching will go in my mouth. Um, and that's not just a baby thing. That's literally a, a sensory thing for me um, because I do have some sensory issues, probable autism stuff. Um, it's a sensory thing for me. My, my, I've pretty much anything sensory wise has to go in my mouth. Um, I chew on, you know, plastic things, just everything. So my binky is one of the things I'm really, really picky about. And I have to say, I have loved my previous binky. I absolutely love it. Like if I, if it costs less, I would go with that binky forever. But that binky did break on me. Um, and it's kind of funny because all three of us in the house, oh, sorry, my hip keeps trying to pop out on me. All three of us in the house actually owned the same binkies from the same thing except for I got a different type so there were two types there's the original and then there's the one that has like the handle but it's the man mouth guard you guys have all seen my past fire before um hopefully I don't have a a thing to show you guys right now about what it looked like but either way mine broke it cracked all along so as you know with the man mouth guards they have the, all those little holes on the side of it Basically, the pacifiers from pacifiers are, or sorry, not pacifiers, are, adultpacifier.com has the same style as a man, but an adult size. And um, the problem I ran into is mine cracked. And my theory is because the, the there's P1 and P2. I have a P2. The rest of my household has P1. The P2 might be a little bit more of a... Everything happens as soon as I start filming. The P2 might have a different plastic than the P1 is my thought. And that's why mine broke. It was not as flexible. Anyway, let's talk about this binky. This binky comes from Little for Big. And I know I've really said in the past about how I don't support Little for Big. Um, but I've kind of been thinking about it a lot in the last few months. And... Um, while I still kind of won't buy certain things from them, partially because their quality for a lot of other products is not that great. Like their onesies are terrible um, and things like that. Um, there is thought that Little for Big is um, not very supportive of the community. But here's my thought and why I decided to finally go with them. Don't hate me for this if you don't support them. I'm sorry, I, this is pretty much the only product I will ever support them in, in all honesty. But um, Little for Big, had some, had, there's a rumor. I cannot confirm this rumor because I've never seen where these comments were posted, seen where anything was said, whatnot, I don't know. Um, but, huh, excuse me. There were some things that were said supposedly about the AB community in a very, very mean, nasty light um, So from the company owners. I cannot confirm or deny 
this rumor because I've never seen the evidence. I've heard of the evidence, but I've never seen it. So my thought was, okay, so I'm not supporting a company because of a rumor, one. And I cannot confirm that it's a, a founded rumor or not. So there's that. And then I started thinking, I am supporting a company with the Binkies, the adultpassfire.com, when basically it seems like it's not about producing a quality product that people are going to love and stuff. It's about making money off of it, which is understandable. It's a business. But when every other adult pacifier on the market costs one-seventh the price, I start to think, hmm. And then I kind of analyze, like, okay, so maybe they do it this way. Maybe they do it that way, blah, blah, blah. But one thing I really, truly don't like about that company is that they make it so that once you've bought the pacifier, A, it can never come apart again unless it breaks, which is what happened to mine. Um, they purposely make it so you cannot take it apart and customize it like these ones. You can fully take this apart and have any color of the binky that you want. They sell six different colors at the moment, and you can swap all six colors out with each other and mix and match. Adultpacifier.com doesn't allow that, and um, they sonic weld them or something like that. They, it, From what I have heard from somebody who... I kind of know the people that run the company, and they've kind of told me they sonic weld them. Um, so you can never take it apart and customize it, which is really kind of sad. Once you buy a $70 binky, you're stuck with it. Um, you cannot change it. They are also of the type that you really can't modify. You can't decorate them much. But it's kind of boring. Um, and they also make it so that with with the sonic welding, you can't replace a broken part. So for me, my mouth guard was broken. The nipple was totally fine, but the mouth guard is broken. I cannot pop it out, buy another nipple from them, and go to, you know, have a working pacifier, which is really annoying. And it's like, okay, so I'm paying 70 bucks for this. I cannot do anything with it. It's just there. And once the one part wears out, you're screwed. Um, so I opted to switch to this particular pacifier. The reason I never did go with the cheaper pacifiers is because they actually hurt my mouth. The way they're curved, and I'm talking like the adult NUC style, the most popular style. The way they curve would push on my top teeth right at the gum line. And then on the bottom, it would push literally like right in there. And it would just push and push and push. And because I use a binky a lot, it was so painful. So that's why I went with the one I did. And if it hadn't, if I had not realized this one was on the market, this one, I would have stuck with the ones from adultpassfire.com. So in transitioning to a new pacifier, I'm doing a couple of different things. First off, I decorated it. Second off, once my pacifier did, it completely broke. The button came off. Everything broke. I had the ability to access the nipple. So I ne the nipple that I had in mind was a NUC 7. It's not actually a NUC. NUC is a name brand. This is not a NUC. This is just a size 7 teat. Um, and once again, the only place you can get them is through adultpacifier.com or their sister company, uh, Pacifiers R Us. They do not sell just the nipple. They don't sell it at all. You cannot buy it from them. Um, so I, in order to transition properly for me, um, buying or using the next seven to trans, I've transitioned from a six to a seven, and now I have to transition at some point from a seven to a six again, um, which I don't think I'll have a problem doing. I have a little bit of an issue because I have really crooked teeth and these gaps, these three gaps in the middle, really, um, if I'm sucking on a smaller nipple for a long period of time, it causes the, the teeth to kind of pull the lip into it and it kind of makes it sore. But so for now, what I did was I took that nipple and I put it inside of the little for big pacifier. Um, and so at the very least, I was able with that to transition right to this mouth guard without having any issues. And hopefully in the future, I will transition back to a six. Otherwise, I have some things up my sleeve on how we can get this to happen. 
because adultpassfire.com does not sell them, nobody else has them that I have found. If you guys know where to get just the NUC 7 nipple, please tell me. Um, I'm willing to pay for that. <laughs> but currently, NUC 6s, which they're not actually NUCs, my dude, don't, they're not NUCs. Um, those are readily available pretty much anywhere for really cheap. So transitioning back to the 6 is probably what I will do. But for now, this one is perfectly fine. Silicone lasts forever, guys. It lasts for forever. And that's the nice thing about these is, like, if I feel like I want to use a different pacifier for the day, I could pop this apart, pop this out, and put it in the other one. Super easy. Um, it works great. And I have to say that I am so happy with this particular style. This is Little for Big's Gen 2. I'll kind of show you the shape a little bit more here um, because the... But yeah, this is the Gen 2, and I absolutely swear by this mouth guard. Um, when it comes to the difference between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2, for little for big, um, or just in general, the difference between the older binkies and this one, um, the plastic is different. The plastic is a lot more flexible and soft. Um, it's not flexible, flexible right now, because I did modify mine, so there's a hard seal on the outside. Um, it's softer. It has a matte finish, which allows, you know, a lot of, um, it makes it really easy to customize them. Um, the button is way bigger. Uh, and it's just in general, I like this a lot. And I think that I'm surprised these are not more popular than the, the Gen 2, Gen 1s. Um, but the Gen 1s are really easily you can get them anywhere, pretty much. AliExpress has them. You can get them off of Etsy, uh, or not Etsy, Amazon, and all these places, and you can customize them up the wazoo, which is super fun. And that's my plan with this. these is to be able to customize them. Um, but I have to say, 10 out of 10, this binky is amazing, guys. I really like it, and um, I will definitely be purchasing more. And I think what I'll plan on doing here is once I have more for myself, this is going to be my go-to, I'm going to suck it for a while type of binky or type nipple. Um, but I can handle the sixes a little bit during, you know, like the day or something. Like if I just need a little bit of a binky for a little while, um, then I don't get the mouth issue too, too much. But this is seriously, I am so happy that I got these. So, so happy. And I've already actually sold two of them from this style. And I've sold one, one from the previous style. So, yeah, previous style. But seriously, hands down, they're, they're really good. They're really good. And when, when you get this pacifier, it has a cover. Um, and it comes with a NUC6 clear silicone. As you can see, this one's a, more of a like opaque silicone. Um, but there's a transparent NUC6 it's my favorite one. I actually really like that nipple um, outside of this one. This one's my favorite. But um, there's also a cloudier, uh, not a cloudier, but a more opaque version of it, um, which is a little bit like the the trunk of the nipple is a little bit wider than the, the clear nut six. But anyway, hands down, I totally recommend these. I got a three pack for 15 bucks, guys. So keep that in mind. They're really, really good deals, um, and they're really awesome. They're really good. I love them, you know, and if I can find another NUC 7 somewhere or if I make my own nipples, that's something I'm thinking about, um, then that would be super duper cool. Super duper duper cool. Anyway, guys, check them out. Um, you can check out my Etsy shop as well. I have a few of these up for sale. Um, but if you don't see one you don't you like, please message me because I will happily make them. And I love customizing this particular pacifier. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.